Extra security and teams of medical workers have been deployed at the Uganda Democratic Republic of Congo border in Pondwe Kasese district following an Ebola outbreak in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Due to the outbreak in the North Kivu region of DRC that has claimed the lives of at least 94 people as per the World Health Organization, new medical procedures have been introduced to minimize the risk of bringing in the Ebola virus and spreading it in Uganda. For the people entering the country, it is now mandatory to wash hands and feet in chlorine-soaked water and to have their body temperature measured. The Uganda Red Cross Society has also deployed more people on the ground at other points along the border in a bid to screen all those entering the country. Average day we get around uh, 20,000 people entering Uganda from DRC and they come from different parts of the, of the region. If uh, the temperature is low, they are let, they, are, they go to, they are let go. If the temperature is still high, they are referred to Guerra Hospital. The Secretary General of the Uganda Red Cross Society, Robert Kwesiga, has also pitched camp in Kasese to assess the current situation. The people of this district, they have relatives, they have families across the border, and so the, the free movement of the people, so long as it is there, we have a cause to remain worried and to remain prepared. With support from the Ministry of Health, United Nations, World Health Organization, Red Cross and several other stakeholders, an Ebola isolation camp has been established at Buera Hospital and medical workers are prepared in case of an outbreak. The basics are in place and we, can, we, we are ready to receive any suspects. Yeah, even if we receive the confirmed case, we can attend to him or her. The Red Cross is also planning to beef up its teams on the ground in other highly populated areas away from the border, like Kampala and Wakiso. Now, Kampala and Wakiso has been added on as areas where the preparedness has to be uh, accompanied in these other districts. And that's why uh, we have already deployed a standby ambulance at the Ministry of Health for this, for this emergency. As you can see, the government of Uganda and other stakeholders are already prepared to counter any cases of Ebola, especially here in Buera, Kasese district. We have been told that the situation in DRC is quite worrying and there are more cases of people with Ebola that are being reported. But luckily enough for Uganda, there hasn't been any confirmed cases. Suhail Mugawi, NTV, Kasese district.